Hi Leah, it's Miss Nikki Ann, and um, yes, I've had the barium and also the um, so slow gastric emptying test, the gastric emptying test, and um, and both did prove that um, I do have gastroparesis and um, motility issues. And like you have also had a colonoscopy and endoscopy, um, which is the least of my embarrassment because my issue gets so bad with my paresis that um, I have to be admitted to the hospital, go to the ER for um, soap enemas because I do enemas at home to get the, um, the fecal matter out of my colon but sometimes I'll, I do one oil and then two saline enemas and sometimes it's just not coming out because there's nothing there at the end it's still stuck up um, in the um, which one is it which colon is first the small, it's still stuck in the first tract and sometimes just in the stomach because um, you know I have very delayed um, stomach processing and now the stomach just it's not really contracting and doing its job which is this autonomia right <laughs> so um, and it affects me like drinking water that um, I kind of um, know when to drink it I've set up a drinking water schedule because I just can't drink water and go about life um, it's a process for me to digest the water so I get very tired and um, nauseous and sluggish and so um, I drink it on a schedule that kind of fits into my life um, so I the test is very simple um, barium sometimes because I've and I'm pretty sure you've had like barium for other types of tests for x-rays it just can um, the last time I had it I was in the ER for my constipation and um, you know you get the two at the two big things um, of the smoothie barium smoothie oh my gosh I was so in so much um, pain just gas gas pain and nausea but then you know they'll give you something for that there's always something for the something else that causes the something you know and so <laughs> but that was cool um, and the um, what the 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 gastric emptying t test I loved because you get to eat the um, the food. <laughs> I love that and it was just relaxing. That test is so relaxing. You eat and you lie down. <laughs> okay and because my colonoscopy endoscopy which I had both at the same time everyone else talks about this great sleep they got. I was fully awake. I just the meds just didn't do anything and I saw everything. I was like, oh, I'm trying to talk. They're all like, oh, I got my car. You know, I was talking throughout the entire test. And so um, it wasn't bad. It didn't feel uncomfortable at all even with my being awake during them. But I just wanted some of that good sleep that everyone else had talked about. And so, uh, so yeah, I think, yeah, the barium and the um, gastric emptying test were my two favorites. <laughs> I have like favorites now you know I've, I've done gallium scans all sorts of things we all have and um, so you're about to do one of my favorites and um, yeah isn't it interesting like the doctors we love the most aren't the ones we need the most care from like um, even though I get a lot of care from my rheumatologist um, she doesn't handle my dysautonomia which is the biggest issue um, that presents itself. I know I have a autoimmune disorder but um, she's done all the work she can do for that side for right now so usually I'm going to her about dysautonomia issues and she she's fine with that. <laughs> I just feel like I don't know she's just she's awesome it's, she's awesome and she will allow she will help me with anything that my body is going through through the best of her ability so that I don't have to go seek out, you know, someone and it's just not until she notices, okay, we are beyond my expertise and beyond my um, connections. Because usually she'll call one of her connections for an answer about something I'm dealing with and then we'll go in the right direction from there. Um, 
she's just awesome. And even when I fought, saw my first dysautonomia specialist, they were like, your rheumatologist has prescribed and done everything that I would have prescribed and done for you. And we'll just kind of tweak it and move on from there. So, yeah, I wish she was a dysautonomia specialist. I just wish. But, yeah, go for the test um, because the gastroparesis, it's, I, right now I'm on a liquid diet. I've been on a liquid diet for weeks, weeks, and that's how bad it's gotten. And um, I go see my GI next week in my primary care um, about some things because all of a sudden now my POTS is the least of the issues. And I just had an, another tilt table test done last week and um, I'm doing really well with controlling um, my POTS issues with salt and IV fluids seems to be really um, handling the symptoms and um, correcting them on the way of daily living. And so it's really my other issues with dysautonomia, especially with my colon. And that just, oh my gosh, even I just had a protein, um, uh, not protein, um, nutrition drink, and that's just sitting there sitting and I'm now I used to take Amatiza, Sinecot, Colace, Miralax um, all together and do enemas but I just cut all of that out and now I'm on lactulose um, this is green syrupy stuff and um, just doing enemas um, to get the get the stuff out of the bowels really um, yeah so the lactulose will kind of push it down since my stomach isn't really working and then the enemas will help to just get get flush it out so yeah yeah even during my pregnancy I was having problems because then I didn't know I had dysautonomia and um, spent my pregnancy at um, the GI all the time with him going into my butt trying to pull the boo-boo out yeah yeah because there was nothing nothing was they couldn't get to it because it hadn't even reached the colon. It was just the lower tract, the lower tract. So it was just bad, 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 bad. And then I was taking Zofran because I had hyperemesis and preeclampsia, but hyperemesis. And so um, Zofran causes constipation. And so I had to stop taking that in order to make the bowel better. But that meant that I had nothing to help with um, the vomiting all day long. All day. All day. I vomited even on the day I gave birth. So, every day, all day. Vomit, vomit, vomit. Um, but that's it. That's the six-year-old. So, have it done. Um, it, it's a pretty pleasant test. Out of the, you know, other most annoying ones. Like, tilt table, you stand there feeling miserable and... You know. Hello. I'm Hello. Happy. It's eight minutes in. I'm happy to hear about your kitty. That's Me good. Too. And am I I follow you on Twitter, but on Tumblr I don't know how to check. And thank you for the update. I love to hear these updates because what I'm finding is happening is that we all started being sick around the same time. I think there's something so odd when you look at it as possibly an environmental issue. Um and the compo environmental components to dysautonomia. And then now we're all headed into that area with our gastro problems. Like everyone seems to now be having that problem. Gastro and also esophageal problems. So, all right. Yeah, because even when I'm standing up, I'm, I'm gagging because of the gravity working. And then it's all stuck and I'm gagging. So that's where my gag reflex comes from. Gravity working against... Um, the food it's just terrible and just to get my IVs some days they have to give me Zofran which you know it's not good for the situation just so that I can sit at the hospital all day for my IV fluids and not do that all the time but okay that's it um thank you for the update and uh keep us posted bye bye